Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Have you finished up that morning routine? Are you dressed down to your lace-up shoes? Is the sink shining? Do you know what's going on today and what you have for dinner tonight? All these little things work together to keep your day moving smoothly and it gives you peace and it also helps your family. This morning on the blog, I talked about my menu planning. And if you'll see back behind me, I opened up my menu plan book and put it on display for you guys. I sat down yesterday, wrote out some ideas for menu items next week, talked to the family about it, no changes. So I'm going to grocery shop today and get the stuff for the things I put down back there. That helps me to be prepared next week. It's going to save me time. It's going to save me money. And it's also going to save sanity because it helps to know what's for dinner instead of waiting till four or five o'clock in the evening and trying to make a decision. So it keeps things a little less crazy there at the end of the day. I know that those last few hours before dinner can sometimes get a little bit hairy around the house. Um, people's emotions, kids get tired, and then you really don't know what you're doing for dinner and it all just kind of comes down on you. So if you don't have a menu plan that you use regularly if you struggle with this I want you to work on it this weekend come up with five easy ideas for meals next week that your family likes if you have kids who are 10 and up include them in your cooking younger kids 5 to 10 year olds can do things in the kitchen too but they need a little more supervision and hand-holding to keep them safe and also for them you know to not make a huge mess and then your younger kids, your under fives, you can include them just by them being in the kitchen with you, hanging out, hand them a few simple things and let them play while you're doing the cooking. So make cooking and that time of the day a social time, a time to fellowship, catch up with each other and prepare a meal with love. So work on that menu plan if that's a struggle for you. Um, I outlined some different things on the blog this morning about it, but I really keep it simple. I will menu plan, check my pantry and freezer, do my grocery shopping, call it good. We try not to keep going back to the grocery store throughout the week, but there are occasions we run out of stuff. I've got teenage boys. They eat everything that's not been nailed down. So there are times when I run out of milk or eggs, or I run out of another ingredient. But I try to get the bulk of my shopping done on one day and get it done. One thing I don't do a lot of is ordering online and picking up. I like the process of grocery shopping and I like picking out my own stuff. But there have been times when I've had little ones that it was easier and it made financial sense to do that online order, drive up to the grocery store, let them know I was there and pick up my food. And they loaded it in and I brought it home. So if you are in that season of life where it's really busy, pick a day of the week that works for you to sit down, do the menu plan, do the online order, and then go pick your food up. Typically it's the next day. Um, most places don't have the same day pickup. But find what works for you and your family and include everybody in menu planning, cooking, and cleaning up afterwards. Home blessings today. Trash, sweep, mop. That's what's on my list. So the boys are working on that right now quietly. Um, heard the dog kind of come in one door and I think he went back out the other door. So we're working on getting that stuff done and we'll just move into our weekend. We will have all of our home blessings and zone missions done. I want you guys to have fun on Saturdays and not be cleaning and decluttering all day. Work on these zone missions a little at a time during the week. Work on your decluttering a little at a time and don't have these massive projects on Saturday that take all day and wear everybody out. But find time to have fun as a family on Saturday. I read an article yesterday about the importance of getting our kids outside and playing. This is a great way to do that. You can have family fun day and be outside on Saturday when the weather's nice. It's starting to cool off as we move into fall. So let's work on the zone missions and have a good time doing them. Tonight's dinner for me is pretty quick and easy because I'm going to pick up something while I'm out grocery shopping. I typically will pick up something that's already cooked. 
and then I just bring it home and we serve that after we get the groceries put up. Take some stress off me and it also is kind of fun to pick up different things each week and enjoy that too. Joanne says she lo loves the sound of puppy feet. Yes, I do too. He's a sweet little Doss hound and he kind of goes in and out. He's really an outdoor dog, but he comes in and out during the day and we just send him back outside. Good morning, Sherlyn. Great to see you this morning. So I hope you guys are ready for the weekend. If not, use that timer right now. Do your zone missions, even if you just do a couple quick, simple ones. It's a hot spot fire drill in the living room. That's one that will help make the living room look better. Doesn't take a whole lot of time. Go in there, spend five to 10 minutes putting stuff away, throwing things away, or maybe you got some things that need to be donated that have been sitting in the living room. Just get that stuff out of the living room and move on. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I will be back with you Monday, and we will be moving into a new month next week, a new habit of the month, and we're going to go back to zone one. So lots of things going on next week. Have a great day, and I'll see you on Monday. <laughs> Joanne says her purse is a hot spot. Well, Friday is clean out your pocketbook day. So spend a few minutes on that one today. See you guys next week.